morning, fans of Privateer FX coming at you on the first real trading day of the week, Jan 22nd. Yesterday was MLK Day, a bit of a holiday trading type action. Today we re resume normal services here. Risk off today, uh, equities about 10 handles off, now about 25 handles off from. Uh, Friday highs. Looks like the same song today as we've been playing the last few days. Uh, Euro is a sell rally here. Uh, we want to try and be long dollars. If you didn't get paid yesterday up at the 90s today, you can offer again um, between 77 and 97. It's getting a little late in the day to sell low ones here. You can see you have a lot of red days there. Um, what's probably going to happen is we're going to we're going to ease through 50 at the open, uh, at the London Open, and then we will um, start ranging around from there. Maybe take out some stops on the top side from the early momentum trading shorts. So watch for that first move through 50, um, and then maybe a move back up to 80 uh, where you can sell. As far as news today, we've got average hourly earnings out of the UK. That could affect cable. We've got ZEW out of Europe. ZEW is at 11. These German numbers have been weak. So let's keep an eye on that. Tonight we have Kiwi CPI. So that's actually quite important for that region. Speaking of Kiwi, Aussie, and Dollar CAD, uh, we're course short Aussie Yen. And, and Aussie dollar. Uh, Aussie dollar has been a slow burn here. Down near the lows now, 36. Um, we're through this sort of critical 50 area, but you can see it was quite sloppy through 50. This looks like it's going to just um, grind lower. So you want to be core short Aussie still um, and core short Aussie again. The Aussie yen trade is basically a proxy for this nonsense from China and trade and and Trump. Uh, none of this makes sense. None of this looks possible. Uh, so Aussie yen has uh, some way to go down still. You saw yesterday bar. You want to ignore that. The Friday bar was perfect doji uh, after a new high. Aussie yen looks like it has some downside ahead of it. Equities, uh, we talked about selling yesterday, but we did not sell. Um, 27.42 is the 200-day moving average. This is your next target. This looks like it's turned. Uh, there's no trade here per se uh, right this second, but um, this looks like it's heading left now. What else? Crude. We have this super interesting um, point in crude, 54, 54.55, which was the high on the December contract. Um, this doesn't translate exactly because it's a different contract, but you can see this is going to be an inverse head and shoulders. A lot, a lot, a lot of people are going to be trading this. Obviously, it were on the lows today and this is going left at the moment down one percent you really need to keep an eye on this neckline um, there'll be some money to be made when that breaks otherwise we're sellers of dollar yen but not here I fear that we missed this move uh, I was I was skiing on Friday of this 109.88 now in hindsight looks Looks like that was a key sale area, but we're just going to be patient now. Uh, lots of things can happen. We got a BOJ policy rate and press conference super early tomorrow. Um, that could shake things up in the yen world. Um, we also have from the U.S. We'll get ECB um, on Thursday. That could shake things up everywhere. Not much out of the U.S. this week, um, but this 110 area looks to be key. Anyway, um, of 
core short euros, core short Aussie, and core short Aussie yen. Um, the euro is definitely a tradable short. Aussie and Aussie yen, we are just short. We are not buying low ones to sell high ones. We're just sitting short. Good luck out there, people. Make buckets of money. Talk to you soon. Ciao.